Dora the Explorer. <laughs> I think it's time we finally announce the winner and who will be inducted into the Totally Weird and Funny Hall of Fame. You cheated, because you basically gave him a whole speech about how they should vote for the clip yeah. before they even played it. Yeah. We need to check the rule book. Okay, I'm on it. Better luck next time. It's all in good fun. I want to win, but guess what? We'll see you next time <laughs> right here on Totally Weird and Funny. Yeah! Don't miss the epic series finale of The Flash this Wednesday at 8, 7 central. So, so I'm mourning the fact that he's now gone. Well, I, there's a lot of questions, and... Wish I had the answers. Now at 10, he vanished under mysterious circumstances, and then his body was found more than a year later. Tonight, family and friends are remembering the tech CEO whose death sparked nationwide attention. Controversy over a popular lowrider cruise in Highland Park. Owners of the classic cars say the LAPD is trying to pump the brakes on their ride down York Boulevard. The no stopping signs at the center of this heated debate. And it was a celebration of strength and resilience. The ballroom where a mass shooter was disarmed is a symbol of courage and unity tonight. A community dance event honoring the Asian American community. Now, on the news at 10. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 10. I'm Rich Chin. And I'm Kareen Winter. A vigil tonight for a tech CEO who disappeared under mysterious circumstances back in 2021 and whose body was found just last month in Santa Monica. Yeah, lots of questions surrounding the disappearance and the death of Bo Mann and his family, of course, looking for answers. Rachel Menatoff is live in Santa Monica where Bo's last steps were retraced tonight. Rachel? Rick, Kareen, good evening to you both. Bo's fiance tells me they were making plans for their future when he disappeared. He says he still has so many unanswered questions, but tonight was really about remembering Bo's charisma and honoring his service to the community. The wax has to get started. A vigil to remember Bo Mann, a 39-year-old tech CEO who went missing in November 2021. A year and a half later, his remains were found in the courtyard of an abandoned property on Santa Monica Boulevard. Jason Abate is Bo's fiance. The last six months of Bo's life was us planning our lives together. Jason says they were planning their wedding and for a family before Bo went missing. So I'm mourning the fact that he's now gone. I'm mourning the fact that we're not getting married. I'm mourning the fact that we had just talked about children very seriously. And that was another reason I knew something was terribly wrong because somebody wouldn't voluntarily disappear if they were talking about having a family. According to the police investigation, Bo was last seen at a 7-Eleven in Studio City. That's when an Uber picked him up and dropped him off on Berkeley Street in Santa Monica, several miles away from his apartment in Brentwood. One of the last things that Bo did was text 911 from the Uber app. And he told me that he went Tonight, Bo's closest friends and family are walking the path they believe he took that night from the place that he was dropped off to the area where he was ultimately found. His his family believes foul play may have been involved and that Bo was probably on his way home when he suddenly decided to change course. Freddie Stewart says he was cleaning up this area when he found Bo's remains. And didn't hesitate. Quickly, you know, quickly got the police on it. <laughs> Bo is the founder and CEO of Sober Grid, an app providing resources for people struggling with drug hoping for clarity. No, I, there's a lot of questions. Heartbreaking because he was such a giving person and such a good person um, that he deserved so much better than this. And Bo's family has since hired a private investigator to try to piece together what might have happened. His cause of death hasn't yet been released. As always, anyone with information is urged to call the Santa Monica Police Department. And we've posted those phone numbers on our website. That's the very latest from Santa Monica. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Kareen Rick, back to you in the studio. All right, Rachel, thank you for that. Another investigation underway tonight after four men were shot and wounded.